Hey guys, it's me, Clay Kong, here for another brand new movie update. Today's video is going to be a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for July 24th, 2022. For this update, I got 6 VHS tapes, 34 DVDs, and 9 Blu-rays to show for this update. <laughs> so yeah, I got a lot, I got a lot of new movies, uh, movies again recently, so yep. So anyways, let's start with the update. First, we're going to start with the 6 VHS tapes. And which these first two VHS tapes are two VHS tapes that I ordered, ordered off of eBay, eBay last week, and they came in this week. This first one came in the mail on on Friday, and this one was a buy now auction, buy now listing. This is a United Artists movie released on video by Woodnap Video. This is one of the United Artists films for owned by MGM that was given to home video rights to Woodnap Video in the late '80s. Former off some unknown video store. This tape's actually in EP mode, which is interesting. At the beginning, this tape, right after the Woodnap video logo, it actually has the MGM UA communication slash MGM logo at the beginning of the at the beginning on this tape instead of the United Arts logo, which is pretty interesting. And this other VHS tape that I got from eBay, eBay is a bid auction, which I won. And this is a Columbia Pictures movie released on video by Vestron Video. <laughs> Former from Hills Video Center. And this tape does not have the Columbia Pictures logo at the beginning. It's blackened out right after the Vestron Video logo. Well, after the Vestron Video logo, the logo, the Columbia Pictures logo is blacked out. So, let's just, just go straight to the film. And these other four VHS tapes are four VHS tapes that I got at the warehouse flea market that I got yesterday. <coughs> I found four more VHS tapes that ha they had that I wanted, so here they are. <laughs> this used to belong to Mike and, Mike and Willie, but it's mine now. April fourth, April fourth, nineteen ninety six. This is another VHS that was originally owned by Mike and Willie, and has the original and has this end label, which is for the peanuts because it has Snoopy and the bird on it, and it like a little label there. But it's mine now. Print off the twenty second week of night time three. This one has no previews at the beginning. I think only rental copies of this film have previews. And this next one's brand new seal, which I'm going to open up on camera. This one I had on VHS, which was in a cut box, but I don't know what happened to some of my other VHS tapes and cut boxes that were former rentals, so I might try to look again. So I decided to get this as a replacement copy. And this, this one's brand new sealed, which I'm going to open up on camera. And this is a Regency Enterprise movie released by Warner Brothers. Now let's get this, and has the Warner Home Video Cheese Shield, um, um, I think watermark on the on the seal. So, anyways, let's get this open, 
I guess it's, it's a little busted there, but that's okay. Don't see any ads inside. May 15th, night I don't know if this copy is going to have previews or not. Unlike, just like my other copy. Well, my other copy didn't have previews, so I'm not sure if this copy will have previews or not, but we'll see. Last speech is for this update. Now, this movie I had on DVD, but I decided to get rid of this. And I decided to get rid of the DVD copy and stick with the VHS copy instead. Because I, cause I like the VHS design better. And this is a Geffen Pictures movie, which was owned by Warner Brothers. It's part of the adult action genre. <clears throat> Once again, used to belong to Mike and Milly Byers or Burns, but it's mine now. And the print date's covered up, but this tape still has previews for Free Jack and Lethal Weapon 3. Now let's get on to the 34 DVDs for this update. The first three DVDs are three DVDs I got at, Pat, I got at Pat's Records on Friday night. I found three more, three DVDs that they brought in there that I wanted. So here they are. The first two are Blockbuster Formal Rentals. The Blockbuster date is... The, oh, the date is July 9th, 2005. Not only Kevin Spacey stars in this movie, but also written, produced, and directed this movie. And of course, Kevin Spacey is pretty controversial nowadays because of what happened. The blockbuster date, oh, sorry, the date is Jared, is February 5th, 2007. Sorry, I'm not, I'm having a little scatterbrain today. This, this is from, War, this is a Warner Brothers movie, co-made by Village Rocho Pictures. And, and of course, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves um, start, start together in, previously in Speed back in Night Tide 4. Next, next, oh, here's the last DVD I got, Pat's Records on Friday night. This is a Focus Features movie. This movie I've heard really good things about, so I knew I had picked this up. And next up, next ne next up are sixteen DVDs I got at the warehouse flea market. That I got at the warehouse flea market yesterday, along with the four VHS tapes. I went to the flea market again, and I found sixteen more DVDs they had that I wanted. So here they are. This first one is a replacement copy. My other copy was in better days, so I wanted to get. A Another copy. This one is a bit faded, but the disc is still in great condition. And this one has the DVD guide inside, unlike my other copy. Or I don't really remember if my other copy had the DVD guide inside. I've, this movie I've seen a couple times before. I, I remember this movie, movie being pretty good, so I'm going to have to sit down and watch this movie again since I have a DVD copy of this now. But this is a good film. The, 
This one's a Blockbuster from Rantoul. The block purchase from Blockbuster on February 14th, 2005, which is Valentine's Day that year. And this movie's from DreamWorks Pictures and it was co-made by Columbia Pictures and Castle Rock Entertainment, in which DreamWorks Pictures hand, handled the United the the American rights for this movie, while Columbia Pictures handles the 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 international rights. And on this copy, the DreamWorks logo and Castle Rock Entertainment logo logos are shown, while the Columbia Pictures logo is not shown on this. Only international rights, I believe. This, this is another movie I had on DVD, but it was scratched up, so I wanted to get a replacement copy. Once again, the side is faded, but the disc is still in good condition. Yeah, the DVDs at the warehouse flea mar at my warehouse warehouse flea market, um, they're they're stacked, they're in boxes, and they're and they're sitting by the window, one of the windows, they're standing by the windows, by the walls, so the sunlight kind of faded them a bit, but that's okay. And this is released by Fox Searchlight Pictures and Merrimax Films. This next one's another blockbuster from Rental. This is the blockbuster exclusive. Um, June 15th, 2008. This is from the Weinstein Company and Harbro Films, which I believe is um, Oprah Renfrey's production company. Columbia Pictures movie. This DVD had the had the security sticker on top, so but it was still had the secu still had the security seal sticker on top, so this thing wasn't so I guess the original owner still hadn't watched this DVD yet. Another movie, this is another movie released by Fox Searchlight. This movie I've never heard about until I came across it. This is a USA. This movie is released by USA Films and the DVDs from USA Home Entertainment, which is now owned by Universal. Yeah, most of these DVDs I got from the flea market yesterday, the sides are pretty faded, but that's okay. This is from this movie's produced by Touchstone Pictures and Dimension Films, which is interesting. Do 
It's a foam roll from Video Central. This is a Castle Rock Entertainment movie co-made by Village Rush Show Pictures and is released by Warner Brothers. And this movie is actually Amer is an American English remake of the of Mostly Martha, which is a 2001 um, German film, or I believe. Another Focus Features release. This movie is produced by the late Ivan Reitman under his production company, um, Monty Seiter Picture Company. So may he rest in peace. He, he passed away earlier this year. This movie is released by Columbia Tricer Home Video back in the day. <clears throat> Here's the last DVD I got at the flea market yesterday. This is another Focus Features movie. Released on DVD by Universal because Focus Feature is owned by Universal. An ad for HD DVD, which was of course short-lived because Blu-ray won the won the format war, of course. The next, the next six DVDs are six DVDs I got at the Goodwill store yesterday, which I found six DVDs from my local Goodwill store. Didn't find any VHS tapes yesterday, but I found six DVDs that I wanted. This one doesn't have the, the DVD guide, unfortunately, but that's okay. This one has the movie in widescreen. This two has the movie in full screen. Um, yeah, since I have American Pie one and two, I'm still going. Still got to look out for Amer American Wedding and American Reunion. I'm not going to bother with the American Pie Presents movies. I'm just sticking with the theatrical American Pie films. This next DVD is another replacement copy because my my other copy was a former rental and it's pretty scratchy. So I wanted to get a, so I wanted to get this better copy. This one's in pretty good shape. And this is an MGM film. And Stevie's also co-released by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment.
This DVD is in full screen, unfortunately, but that's okay. Another this this is released this is another Weinstein coming movie and this along with the Great Debaters were were originally released by MGM theatrically but the DVD copies omit do not have the MGM logo at the beginning. There's the receipt for Goodwill. Here's the last DVD I got from Goodwill. Next, next, next six DVDs are six DVDs I got at the dollar, my local Dollar Tree store that was by my local Goodwill store. I found six DVDs there. These next six DVDs come from Dollar Tree, by the way. This movie is from Amazon Studios and is released on DVD by Universal. This movie's from Picture House, which is a division of New Line Cinema and Fine Line Features. This movie, this is also another movie released by Picture House, but it's released on DVD by Universal. STX Films movie released on DVD by Universal. Here's the last DVD I got from Dollar Tree, and this is a 2021 um, MGM, DVD, MGM DVD release distributed by Deuce Entertainment. I'm sure this DVD is not going to have a menu because because these Deuce, these MGM movies MGM DVDs from Deuce Entertainment don't have anything. Except the movie. And this is a canon group movie, part of the canon um fairy tale movies. The last three DVDs for this update are three DVDs I got from BarnesNoble.com. And I got these these are three criterion DVDs that I got from the 50% off sale that was still going on. So I ordered three more Criterion DVDs. Side number is 649. This is a Paramount film owned by Universal Cuts, a 1944 film. And this one only has an interview with Fritz Lang, Scholar, Joe McKenney, and Trailer. This DVD is only $10 because it only has a little amount of features.
704 is the side number. This movie's from Ally Artists, but it's actually owned by Paramount, and this was actually previously owned by Republic Pictures, in which Paramount has the rights to some of Republic Pictures' owned titles. And this is another movie I've been really curious about, so why not pick this up? Last DVD for this update. This is Richard Lang Langlauer's first directorial, directorial debut. Sorry, I just can't pronounce some words lately. Sign number is two hundred seventy-four. This is the two thousand. This is the two thousand thirteen re-release, or actually two thousand fourteen. Well, it says second print two thousand thirteen. I believe this DVD originally came out two thousand three or two thousand four. And this movie was actually released by Orion Classics, part of Orion Pictures, but I don't know if MGM still owns this movie or not. And interest, interestingly enough, this DVD is actually the, this is actually the same content as the original Criterion DVD from the early 2000s because it's got the the late 90s Criterion Collection logo at the beginning of this DVD. And now let's get on to the nine Blu-rays for this update, which I got nine of them. And which this first one is a Blu-ray that I got at Pat's Records on Friday night along with the three DVDs. And this one's a former one from Blockbuster. January 17th, 2010. This one did come in the Blockbuster case for DVDs, which they had which was for Blu-rays by side. But since I have a since I have a couple um empty Blu-ray cases, I decided to put the original DVD Blu-ray cover and the disc inside this Blu-ray case. Because I like to get that way a little better. And this is an overture films movie. These next three Blu-rays are three Blu-rays that I found at the at my antique store on Friday night along the Pat's Record purchases. I found three Blu-rays that I wanted to get from that antique store. This one was originally purchased from a store called Cash, Cash America, which I believe is no longer in business. Originally purchased from, yeah, it was originally purchased for $5, but I got this for $3 from the antique store. This 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 is an Alcon Entertainment movie destroyed by Warner Brothers. Here's this digital copy code, which I believe already expired. Yeah, expired on August sixteenth, two thousand twelve, and Warner Brothers Inside Movie Rewards, which isn't a which is which is still which still doesn't exist. And this DVD is a DVD and digital copy combo disc with disc the last here's the last blur i got from the antique store this is another touchstone pictures movie And, and, and once again, it was originally purchased from the store called Cash America International. 
but I believe that store is no longer in business. This next Blu-ray is a Blu-ray that I found at Dollar Tree along with the six DVDs there saying this is an Olive Films Blu-ray, which Olive Films is no longer in business, surprisingly. I guess they I guess they closed. All of films that is. Yeah, pretty surprising to find a all of films Blu-ray at Dollar Tree yesterday. I also found a DVD from Dollar a DVD from All of Films at Dollar Tree last year, which was Ned Kelly. Another All of Films title, which I don't remember the name of that film. This next one's a, this next Blu-ray is a Blu-ray that I got from eBay, which this was a bid auction, which I won. This one I previously had on DVD, but I wanted to get on Blu-ray. I also want to re also want to get another copy of G.I. Joe Retaliation on Blu-ray because my Blu-ray copies that I got from Goodwill last year is a bit scratchy, so I saw so I got rid of that. I'm going to find another copy of that sequel on Blu-ray. I do, I'm actually going to look for Snake Eyes on Blu-ray, which is the third G.I. Joe film. Because I do think the G.I. Joe films look pretty decent, in my opinion. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which is the feature film. And the second disc is actually the DVD copy with special features and digital copy, which is pretty interesting. And these last three Blu-rays that to show in this up there are Criterion Blu-rays. This first one I got from Amazon.com. I got this from Amazon.com, I believe, on and came in the mail on Friday. The sign number is two hundred nineteen. This one I got for nine for night for nineteen dollars and ninety four cents with free shipping, which is a pretty good deal. And this is an Italian movie with English subtitles. I heard this movie's supposed to be pretty good, so. Went ahead and ordered this. And these last two Blu-rays are two Criterion Blu-rays that I got from the Barnes & Noble's 50% off Criterion set along with the three DVDs. This one I had on VHS, but I wanted to get the Criterion Blu-ray for this. This one's only on Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray only. There's no DVD copy for some reason. Eleven Sign number is 1,135. Tristar Pictures movie. This is the second Tristar Pictures movie to be released on DVD by Criterion. The other, the other one is The Fisher King, which I have the DVD of Criterion. The Criterion DVD of The Fisher King on DVD. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. Sign number is 432. Comes in really nice shiny slip cover. Or slip box, that is. This movie's in English. This movie's in Japanese with English subtitles. And this movie was originally this movie was actually released by Warner Brothers when it came out in here in America. Which which I don't think Warner Brothers owns this movie anymore but they did release this movie on vhs and dvd from warner brothers but this is the criterion collection blu-ray And that's it for my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for July 24th, 2022. Hope you guys like this video and see you guys later.